Hi everyone, my name is Adam Roach and I'm the creator of the video We Are The Champions by The Healthcare Workers. So first of all, I want to say a big thank you to all that were involved in giving me the time to do the project. So in today's video, I'm actually going to talk to some of the people that were involved in the video and hear more about them and their stories. I've had my share of Greetings from New Brunswick, Canada. My name is Tammy and I am a PCA in the ER and I'm off to do a 12 hour shift. I love my job. Hi, my name is Chris and I work as a nurse here in Melbourne, Victoria. And I would like to send my um, sympathy and gratitude to all the fellow healthcare workers who continue to fight this battle. It is very confronting for us, like some of us might have had um, colleagues who passed away or has gotten in great decline due to um, Corona. It is very confronting and it's a lot of fear for us to face, but I believe in us and I believe in everyone, not just the frontliners, all the best and we shall win this and we are the real champions all of us hi my name's megan and i'm a registered nurse at a melbourne public health service i coordinate a hospital in the home program i coordinate a community nursing team and have been very involved in managing um, our fever clinic I have put in some massive hours, like most healthcare workers, over the last six weeks. Um, but I work with an amazing team and they're incredibly supportive of each other. And we have had overwhelming support and gratitude from our local community. It's very heartening. Um, I want to thank all of the healthcare workers out there who are doing an amazing job in these crazy times that we're in at the moment. Um, it's appreciated. Emma, Emma, Hi, my name's Barbara and I work on a hospital ward in Melbourne, Australia. I'm also on a government register. Uh, should COVID get out of control, um, I'm ready to go to the front line if needed. Thankfully, we've managed to keep it fairly well under control here. Um, and that's thanks to everyone staying home. So thank you, Australia. My name is Katrina Kierstead and um, I live in Browns Flat, New Brunswick, Canada, and I work at a hospital um, in St. John, one of the cities here, and I work in a clinic, and we deal with most people that they're immunocompromised, so we're giving them blood transfusions, um, IVIG, um, you know, different, different things to really help them out. So I'm not frontline, like in ER, but um, we do deal with our very severe immunocompromised patients. They come to us so that we can treat them. How has this affected me? Well, I live in the country and um, I have a wonderful life. My dad has Parkinson's and lives in a nursing home and my mom just passed away a year and a half ago. So I'm here at the house you know, even though I'm not allowed to go visit my family, my dad, and um, I can't see my daughter, but I can't go and visit my my dad, we still do video chats, and I go to the window and I talk to him. Um, I really miss my dad. He is my my life. Take care, and thank you for everything that y'all do. Be safe. You bought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with Hi, I'm Kate. I'm a clinical nurse specialist working in the cardiovascular unit. We've remained incredibly busy in this very unusual time. We've been to canting areas to prepare for suspected or positive COVID cases and continue to do so as the medical needs change. It has been a very interesting chapter thus far and one that will continue to evolve over time. Stay safe, everyone. But it's been Hello everyone, my name is Carla Sullivan. I am a registered nurse from Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. Through this COVID-19 pandemic, the word I would associate with it the most is the word fear. Fear of the unknown and fear of something we've never encountered before. This is new and these are scary times. 
Although I do not work on a COVID unit, and my province has been doing a spectacular job with flattening the curve, there's always a chance, and I fear. As I walk through the doors of my facility each shift, I feel as though I am a soldier walking onto a battlefield, and there's an enemy out there ready to attack. That enemy is invisible, and that enemy is COVID-19. We never know when or where. We wear masks throughout our entire shifts. They're hot, they're hard to breathe through, we're tired, we've had added stress, but we're there for each other. And we're there for you. So if you know a healthcare professional, say thank you. These are hard times for everyone. You need us more than ever, and we will be there for you. This war we are fighting is far from over, but we will be there to win the battle. Take care, stay safe, and stay strong. No pleasure My name is Carrie O'Brien, and I'm a nurse working on a COVID ward at a major public hospital in Melbourne, Australia. We're working hard, it's tough, but we're going to get through this together. And we respect all frontliners within Australia and worldwide. We can do this together. Hi, I'm Anna, originally from Cairns in Queensland. But three years ago, I moved down to Warrnambool, Victoria to study a Bachelor of Nursing and Midwifery. And obviously, due to the current situation, our learning has all changed. It's all online now and our practical classes have all been cancelled. But at the same time, it's just really encouraging to see the way the uni's been supporting us as students and the community as well. And I'm about to go on placement this week up in Melbourne, which I'm really excited for. And it's just been really nice to, to see the way um, the Victorian community has been helping me try and find some safe and um, secure accommodation close to the hospital as well. So, yeah, it's, it's challenging times, but it's just really nice to see the way everyone's come t together to support us. And, yeah, I'm excited to continue on my learning as a nurse and a midwife. We keep on fighting till the end. I'm Pauline, an RN from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, feeling very blessed to be where I am because I am petrified of bringing COVID-19 home to my two small children. Hi, I'm Jane Francis. I'm originally from the Philippines. I am working and living here in Northern Ireland, United Kingdom. I am a nurse looking after the elderly and people with learning disability. During this time of pandemic, let's all keep safe and stay healthy. Take care and God bless. No time for losers, cause we are the champions. Hi, I'm Stacy Hickey Boralia. I'm a registered nurse from Bathurst, New Brunswick, Canada. I work in neonatal intensive care, which means I work with um, newborn babies that are either ill or just need a little extra support at, after birth. Um, as far as COVID is concerned, here in the province that I'm from, our numbers have been relatively low. We've had 120 um, cases confirmed, uh, tested positive of COVID-19. Of those 120 cases, 118 have recovered. There's two active cases right now. Um, and my, the zone that I'm in within the province has only had one positive uh, COVID test, which uh, that person has recovered as well. So as compared to the rest of the world and the rest of the country, it's been pretty quiet for us and hopefully it, it will stay that way. Again, today we've had no new cases. So our hospital, it's been basically business as usual. Um, I haven't had to um, work with any cases. Um, we do wear a mask when we do go to work um, for our entire 12-hour shifts. I haven't had to do any doubles, fortunately, um, unlike the rest of the world. And I know um, I really feel for those people, especially in the, the areas that are most hard hit by COVID-19. Um, so... For those of you, my fellow healthcare workers, who are in those areas or any area at all where you've got um, large numbers of COVID positive cases, um, I wish you all the best um, and I pray that you will uh, be safe and be healthy and stay strong. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Ralph Maggio and I'm a nurse in Australia. I've been a nurse for 20 years and I've worked all over the world. And I realize there's a lot of countries doing it really tough out there. I just wanted to wish all the nurses a happy International Nurses Day. Take care. Hi, my name is Tina and I'm a nurse. I've been an anaesthetic nurse for 16 years and a general nurse for over 30 years. It's been a terrible time in the world due to COVID-19, but we're very lucky to have had time in Australia to prepare for what was to come. My heart is with all the nurses who have and are still going through the worst of the pandemic overseas. And my thoughts are with all of those who have lost their lives caring for COVID patients. The world is so grateful for your care and your courage, and we will remember you always. And for those still toughing it out overseas and around the world, happy International Nurses Day. Hi everyone, my name is Kahin and I am an RN. I work in New Brunswick, Canada. Um, right now, during this pandemic, what I am doing is uh, I am screening. So I work at the front desk uh, of the hospital, screening everybody that is coming in, staff, visitors, patients included. Uh, I am now on the redeployment list. I have been for eight weeks and uh, I am basically ready to work anywhere that I would be needed. Uh, I hope all of you stay safe and uh, continue to work hard to get this pandemic behind us. I also want to take a moment to thank Adam for this beautiful project in which I was lucky enough to be part of. Um, and that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.